Hey, what's going on, chess lovers? This is uh, Maurice Bishop again. Um, I was, as y'all see here, this is uh, my rating low because I'm actually playing a longer uh, time limit where a lot of my stuff was always uh, three minutes in bullet chat. So obviously it's like 22 to 2300. So that's what that is. Um, just to give y'all a heads up though, um, if y'all ever, um, prepping for a tournament or whatever, things like that, you know, it would be good to actually, uh, play like a 10 minute to 15 minute, uh, time limit on a clock so that you can actually, um, uh, prepare yourself to, um, being able to think longer and like analyze, you know, certain positions because of, you know, the longer time limit, you know, because blitz and tournament play is a completely different ball game. So, just always be mindful of that. All right. Um. I do see this on night D six thing. Which is what I'm looking at. And then if he goes queen a5, I got bishop d2. Alright. Alright, so now we just want to uh, sit this knight on here. Rook AD1. Our next move we want to do is E5, which is our next move. And to be honest with you, I think, um, you see, he already put his E5 already on there. But that actually would have been a better move. So, in the tournament, I'm actually going to be thinking a lot longer. You know, but yeah, e5, pawn e5 was actually um, the first thing I should have did instead of rook a d1. But no worries, because I could still threat knight catches e5 anyway. Go here. And, um, still see queen a5. I still got bishop d2. I'm still covered. Even if he does take this dark square bishop, it makes me happy because his dark squares will be weak. So I'm going to go g4. Take this off. We're still going to take with a check. Let's 
So let me take this off. So yeah, y'all, it's a lot longer. Um, I just gotta be careful, but um, he actually missed this uh, 98 move. Three. Now we can go H6 now. Still got to check. And then check me. Yeah, guys. That's how we do it. Alright, we'll play a new opponent for 10 minutes. So yeah, guys. Uh, ten minutes is uh, it's a good game. It, it's a good way to train yourself for a tournament play, so you can try to calculate better. I'm not afraid of these because I have queen catchers G2, so none of that is going to work. So now we get castle queen side. Go h6, prevent any g5 moves. Okay, uh, g5. If he comes knight e5, I got queen b6, so now this d4 will be weak, and he won't be able to bring this bishop out, because I'll be hitting that, so. But we got g4. So I won't come here because it is bishop because it'll have this d5, and um, I 
I could go queen d7, but he still has this uh, rook e1 that can potentially do something. Uh, queen d6 because of knight b5, that's not going to work. So I'll probably go queen a6, which I like that move better because then I could threat um, bishop d6, but also I have this um, about to open up his king side. So he has a lot to think about with that. All right, so bishop d6. Interesting move. I'm gonna still go g3. He doesn't have to take, but if he take, I could take back with this pawn. Which we go knight g4. Okay, he didn't do that. That is fine. So I gotta bring my queen over here. He does have this knight f4. Certain stuff I gotta watch out for. Ninety five is not an option. We'll go queen a five. If he goes knight f four, I still have this a c four hitting this rook. Okay. I have this now. And if he did something like um pawn at four, I still got queen catches at four. And then I could bring my knight to g4. But most likely I have a knight. I think he's going to wind up sacking his dark square bishop. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, so we'll go queen catches f4, I mean queen catches h4. Alright, I got a lot of time on my clock, so I could really take the time to think of what is the best move. If that knight on d3 wasn't there, I'd probably be... Okay, so if I go queen h2 check, king f1, queen h1, he can go bishop g1. So that is something that he can do. I do have bishop c4. He is threatening my pawn on a7, which is another thing. Um, my bishop really don't have too many squares to go to. If I go bishop e7, he could take on a7. And then he has that knight f4, which I don't really like at all.
Then I'm thinking about sacks too, y'all. Thinking about sacks. Knight g4. If he takes, Bishop catches g4. Queen h2 check. Knight g4 take take. Queen h2. Don't think about this. I'm gonna go fish to be seven. Cause right now this king can't really move. But I do want something like knight d5 and then knight f4. But this knight is in a way. Whoa. This is c4. Alright. This should catch b4. And then I figure if I take this, he would have got this rook on it, um, the second rank or seventh rank. So didn't really like it that much. You know what I do have? If I do take this and he takes with the rook, I do have bishop c3. Just so I can get down if bishop catches d4. So that that might could that might could work. Even though he's gonna double his rook on his file. But is my attack more dangerous? That's the thing. Let me get this defender out the way. So C3. It'd definitely be even more deadly if I can get this uh, rook over here and then do bishop catches d4. Depends on if I have enough time to do it. Oh, got to find out.
And then if he, and I just thought about it, even if he does take this, I still have Bishop E6 trapping his rook as well. So that was another thing I did have. So queen captures g1 check. Nope. Queen captures g2 check. And we probably could bring this rook out now. Rook e8 check. And then, of course, we still got this uh, queen checkmate right here. Queen f2 checkmate. All right. So the calculation is um, coming together. You know, understanding certain principles. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. All right, yeah, I'm going to play one more. All right, D4. And also got to realize that, you know, in tournaments, not everybody's going to take the pawn either. But, you know, we'll see. See, this is different. See, this is what I'm talking about. So, like, longer time period, like, this is different. Okay, he just gave me that. Wow. I don't know, yo. <laughs> I know in tournaments... <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> but he had a lot of time to think or whatever he could have thought, you know, things like that. All right, that was like 3 and 0 for that one. All right, y'all. Um But yeah, y'all, um you're going to probably see more of these uh 10 minute games or whatever, maybe 10 to 15 minute games because um like I said, I want to get myself training to play in longer games so I could think and calculate or whatever, how I want to do it, because again, uh, bullet chess, blitz chess is a lot different from tournament play. Um, even though 10 minutes is still kind of considered, uh, I guess, blitz in a way, you know, but, you know, I'm going to get in the habit of playing a lot of, like I said, maybe 15, 20 minutes, maybe even 30 minute games, you know, so I can really uh, calculate, you know, when, when I prep for tournaments and things like that. So that's pretty much all I'm doing. That's pretty much all I will be doing. But I'm definitely going to be um, prepping up my opening. Uh, it's not really so much openings. It's just more of like tactics, um, making sure I understand certain middle games, um, even when people play um, um, complicated um, positions or whatever, just knowing how to maneuver it and things like that. So. Hope y'all guys, uh, guys, I hope y'all really enjoyed this video. Um, if you really like this video, please like, please share, please comment. Uh, please, please let me know what y'all think. If y'all have any tips that y'all want to give me in order to, uh, for me to prep uh, for the tournament, you know, please, um, please, please, please send a comment below. Um, you know, like I said, I, I, I'll take anybody advice, you know, literally, man. Like, I'll take anybody advice. I don't care if you're a low rated player a beginner I, I don't care man I'm I'm all about sharing what I know so that y'all can improve your chest and then at the same time y'all give me feedback or whatever so that I can improve as well you know things like that man like because at the end of the day we're all trying to better our chest we're all trying to become uh, maybe masters grandmasters or maybe y'all don't want to be that maybe y'all just want to be just a better chess player because y'all really just love the game that too so uh again like i said give me feedback and um also y'all don't forget to subscribe y'all all 
right. Um, thank y'all. And uh, oh, and I do want to. And before I go, I do want to say I, I want to thank everybody for actually, you know, uh, checking out my videos, watching my videos, uh, commenting on it, liking it. You know, even uh, for all y'all that actually subscribe to my channel, you know, I really, really appreciate it. You know, I'm already at 95 um, subscribers already. I'm almost at 100. Uh, to most people, it may not seem that much, but, you know, I'm, I'm just happy that um, a lot of y'all subscribe to my channel and y'all uh, looking at my stuff daily. So I really, really appreciate it, y'all. All right, y'all. Peace out. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. All right.